Hello and welcome to the vlog. It is Thursday afternoon. I thought I'd uh, just head to the post office because I'm expecting something very cool that you guys will love. And uh, I don't want it to sit here too long. So we'll go check the post office. Then we will go down and do our food review at McDonald's. And then we will go to Paul's house for six o'clock. Oh, nothing. I'll check again tomorrow. But uh, yeah, you guys are gonna love it. Next stop, McDonald's. <laughs> down to the north end of Newmarket. Uh, this is actually the south end of uh, West Gwillimbury and uh, I keep getting text. Um, so this is the new McDonald's. It's right across from the theater on the north side. Uh, I believe that's Denison High School or secondary school. Uh, so I'm gonna go in and grab a large fry. No, I'm gonna get to this uh, medium fry. Come back in here and then do the uh, video and shout out Paul from Japan. Critical East Japan. Critical East Japan is the right way to say it. Yep. Thank you. You're welcome. Got the fries. Time to have a snack. I'm going to put you guys up there. There's my thingy that I put the camera on that's got to angle it what I do usually uh, is I put my monitor on um, I was gonna wear this too hang on Ta -da! I'm like thingies there put the seat back do that I'm gonna see if this looks good also, I wish there was uh, Japanese on this. That would have been cool. I guess in Japan they still like the Western writing, English. Whatever. All right, so don't need that. Everything's good. All right, I'm gonna stop the camera. Paul from Critical Eats Japan, spicy hot chili. <laughs> spicy hot chili fry Welcome seasoning. Back to another Ken Dominic food review just for you and just for you. Today is a special. That's just the way it is. Just for you and just for you. I am in Newmarket. I licked my lips. I probably look really dumb. All right, got it all open. Smells like a, like a Lipton's soup. Uh, like a curry Lipton soup. Okay, here we go. Dumping it. Oh yeah. All right. Back to the vlog, people. Woo! Super salty. I'm gonna keep that. I need that a little bit longer. Um. Yeah. Now we're off to Paul's house. Put my camera or my phone back there. It got really hot in here all of a sudden. And uh, so I wanted just to wear this, no particular reason why. Sorry about that noise, how annoying. This is an awful area to get out of, man, it's brutal. It's just that there's not a whole lot of distance between the road and this little intersection behind me, and it's a four-way stop, and everybody just like, ah, ah, ah. I'm gonna throw, ah, ah. All right, let's go to Paul's house. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. We're at Paul's house. Ooh. I totally forgot to vlog when I got here. Like, what? As soon as I walked in, the house, or as soon as Paul got to the house, I beat Paul to his house by like a couple minutes. And uh, as I got there, he's like, "We have to go and pick up my other car because this brand new car, the differential went on it." Yeah. So, so we had to go and pick up the car oh. or the truck, and then I had to drive his car back. He had to drive his truck back. And then, we had to, then we had to decide whether or not we wanted to do this outside in the backyard. And it's just such a beautiful night out tonight. Yeah, dark it but, fast, but it got, day. yeah, it got dark really fast. What time is it now? It's 10 after seven. It's uh, a shame. I like, it was, I like it when it's sunny at nine. Yeah, that's nice. 
Well, dinner is all done. We're all cleaned up. Everything's cool. Uh, we're just talking about extermination. <laughs> <laughs> Doctor about Who. Doctor Who and uh, my sister. Wait, watch, watch. Exterminate. You just have a toilet plunger. Oh. Exterminate. That's so funny. They use That's toilet plungers. Oh, best show ever. Uh, I wish I, I stopped watching it after. So Tom Bacon, and then there was another guy named Peter something. And then that was it. After that, I didn't watch anymore. And then like, I think my, I watched it while Tom Baker was. Tom Baker was the guy who made it famous. Yeah, and then after that, so he had the scarf the and the yeah, hat. And the hat. What we're also talking about, you know, a lot of people on the big channel say, and I haven't had permission from Paul to say this yet, but what? people on that channel keep saying that Paul is like the best thing on the big channel. They love cook and review. Paul, start your own channel. Blah 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 blah. blah. But Paul has a full time gig, and. I'm tired. He's he's busy. He's a busy guy. The only way he, we could ever make that fly is again if I shot everything, edited everything for him, and then he was just the talent. So, kind of doing what we're doing now, but we start a new channel just for Paul. I'm just this is just putting it out there for you guys. So again, there's a lot of people that are saying things on the big channel. So it'd be interesting if we started a Patreon to show Paul how serious these people are. And if they all start contributing on a monthly basis to help fund the show, then we would start, I would start, I would totally help you start a channel. And again, you would just be the talent. It would be your show. You'd be the only one in it. I wouldn't say a word. I would just videotape it, edit it, and then manage the channel for you. And then you would reap all the benefits for it. So let us know in the comments below. That'd be a great discussion to have. Do you think it would fly? Do you think it would not fly? What do you think? I actually, this is going to sound weird to you. Okay. But I said to Mark Andre, I said, if you want to start a channel, he's like, what would I do? I said, well, you're going to cook. And he's like, I can't cook. And I'm like, but that's the whole thing is that I would show you. And it's like a father son and I'd, I'd give you pointers and you'd, you'd be the one cooking. And then you're going to go through blunders and this blah, blah, blah. And I thought that would make a good, uh, a good thing to do. Like, why cut this as opposed to pureeing it? You know what I mean? Like, yeah, like you teach no, them all, all the... kinds of stuff. Yeah. Like, why are you doing it this way or why this way or, or blah, blah, blah. And he's like, oh, but I make mistakes. I'm like, it's that's the beauty of yeah. it is because people make mistakes. But a lot of it's funny when, when when I go to someone's house and they're they're all freaking nervous. Because they're cooking they're a cooking big meal. for you. I said, what, what's the deal? You're cooking food. Don't be, like, do what you do. Worst comes to worst, you can just order a pizza. If you completely food bar no, everything. I mean, a lot of the stuff's very simple and people get, and I, I don't know what it, I, I guess because I've been working in the industry, so a lot of people are so nervous about food, or, or a lot of people are, and I'm just like, it's just, is there, oh. uh, vinegar? is there what? Vinegar. In that cupboard. You can have malt or regular white vinegar. So food. Now he's coming in scared. for the fish. Yeah, coming <laughs> <laughs> It was so good. Didn't want it earlier when it was hot and crispy. So, but people get nervous, and, and I'm just like, do what you do. And if you, you know, and people make mistakes, I make mistakes, and and some of, and it's just, but attempt it, like, just do it, just do it, just do it, and it can be really fun. So again, pretty much, I think the only thing that I've tried to replicate that Paul made, which oh, was the Yorkshire pudding, the Yorkshire right? pudding, and which mine turned out, I think. Better, better than Paul's. <laughs> I'm not sure why it turned out better. I, Cause I is pretty much copied. Convection? It's the same kind of oven oh, as yours, okay. yeah. But it is convection. Oh, your mine's not convection. Oh, okay. So Maybe convection is gonna circulate the heat better, uh, and it's gonna cause a. Yeah, a cause lot. mine mine did it then and did the little cave in I think. Yeah. Uh, but it was the prime rib dinner, and I did the. I, I copied. I literally was going from the kitchen to my computer and back again, watching the video and then That's doing excessive. stuff. It was really fun. Uh, the other thing too is I put my vegetables in way too early, yeah, and they all turned to muck. All, yeah, because the sugar. That was the one thing I screwed up, and I didn't. For some reason, it took me way longer to cook the meat than you did, and I have no really? idea. Maybe maybe the prime rib I had was a bigger thing, but it took forever. And then when I thought it was done, I took it out. I had to like cut all almost like I was skinning it because all that stuff. My mom and uh, Carol ate that. And I had to eat the more raw stuff because I, I don't mind a rare yeah. as a much as much. I don't like overcooked meat. Well, I mean, obviously, when you're cooking a roast, always the most rare is gonna be in the center here, and then you're gonna get more well done towards the side. Right. The heat you're cooking at too. And and again, the there are lots of parts on it that were perfect, mm -hmm. but there is 
stuff in there that because it was still kind of I guess the word bleeding. Does it let rest after? Yeah, I think okay, I, again yeah. I, I okay. tried everything that probably, you probably get like up to a five degree shift in temperature. So when it's out and it's sitting on top of the stuff and you're waiting on the oven, you're waiting five ten minutes, it's going to rest and, and juices and all that. Oh, so I'm hungry good. again. So good. Again, oh. <laughs> out, of, out of all out of all the, the cooking reviews, that was my favorite dinner. I just sat there and I, I if, watched that video again. And the funny thing is, the smell, I almost like, died. When you cook, like when you're doing a roast beef or, or a prime rib or whatever, and it's in the oven, and that smell through that. There's nothing that beats that smell. It is just and all that time when I when you just plop that huge thing of time, huge thing of time right on top, I'm like, what the hell is that for? Oh, but it, yeah, it was it was awesome. Because you're gonna get that that. Uh, no you know, the smoke salt cap in it? and the Dijon, and it's good. it's just all the flavors as it's roasting. It just per, like you could be outside, you'd be walking up, and you'll see like, what's yeah, that smell? What is it's that? It's unbelievable. It was heaven. It is heaven. And that's it why, and, that, and that's how you can kind of also tell what I liked out of all the things Paul's ever cooked. There's a lot, everything I like of Paul's, but the ones I've tried to cook, which is the prime rib. Dinner. Yes. Just because I was so fascinated by it, and plus it tastes. So I had to try and replicate it, which I and it's not difficult. I thought I fell short of Paul. You get all prepped up, throw it in the oven, and, and then you can have like if you're having a dinner party, you just throw it in, yeah. leave it. I actually I actually started cooking that while my mom was helping me with my books. So we're we're working, and then I was cooking, and then well, going back like, and forth. Okay, what are you cooking? Yeah, she had a yeah, she liked she liked that dinner. It was good. All right, guys, thanks for stopping by. Uh, I'm gonna shut the camera off now, and, and Paul and I are gonna chat some more. Cool. I feel like we're ding, 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 ding. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for dinner again.